Hi, this is the next video where we are looking at streamable MCP transport. So we saw how to create a streamable MCP transport based server in the previous video and, and we saw how we can talk to such a streamable MCP server from the MCP inspector tool and also from command line. So in this video, we'll see how we can connect a Python client to our MCP server without using any command line tools. Welcome to Techie Talks AI. I'm Sri from Shogani. On this channel, we bring you hands-on demonstrations and insights into the latest tools and trends to help you get started with ease. Don't forget to subscribe and be a part of our journey into the future of technology. A quick recap, we have the MCP server streamable here and it has one endpoint that is slash MCP and all the communications happen through that endpoint and it can stream output in a loop. Then it is up to the client to close the streaming connection. Okay, so here we have the client and we saw how to use the inspector tool as the client. We saw how we can use the curl command to talk to the MCP server again using streamable transport and we saw how we can add additional tools in our MCP server. So in this video what we are going to do is we are going to use Python to create the client. So let's launch our MCP server like last time. Okay MCP server is running on port 3000. This is the inspector again we did this last time, connected to our MCP server. This is just to test if our MCP server is connectable. I'm going to click list tools. We have a notify tool and we have an add tool. Notify tool we can run and we'll see the notifications coming back. And add tool we can pass two numbers and get the result. You remember like last time we are introducing an error to confirm that it, this tool is being called. This error will come handy when we convert this in, into an agentic application. So we know that it is actually calling our tool. Our server is running and it has been tested using the inspector. So now we will test the Python application docker docker compose a run. Let's look at the services app hyphen c. Okay, so app app hyphen c. This will run the first type of client, very simple client. I'm showing this to show you that we can talk to uh, an MCP using Python using this way too. Okay, so so this is not actually using the MCP SDK. It is calling the tool. Okay, so here we have the output. So let's look at the code. APP hyphen C is running MCP client.py. MCP client.py. See here, we have a function send JSON RPC. So this JSON RPC works just like our curl command line command. In case a new transport comes for which there is no MCP SDK updates available. So this is the way we can talk to such an MCP server. Okay, so we have the payload, initialized payload, JSON. We call send JSON RPC. Then we are calling the tool notify tool. Here the tool name we are passing and then finally we are calling the add tool and we are passing the two numbers to be added as arguments. Okay, so this is a simple Python client which uses MCP streamable transport and it's able to talk to the remote MCP servers. If you see here, we are not using anything other than Python request module and the JSON module. And we just have one function. Remember, the header 
has text even stream as well then only our streamable mcp server will accept the payload okay so that is it so this is a tiny demo of how we can talk to an mcp server using plain python that is our first demo let's run it again okay so streamable response we are getting and also we are able to use the add tool so this is the tool call method and this this is the tool name and the arguments and here we have the result from our mcp server this mcp server is same as our last video's mcp server next demo is going to be using streamable mcp library so we will not be using the request module okay so for that in docker compose i have already created a section mcp based py mcp based py this one okay so in this demo we are using streamable http client okay streamable http client from the mcp python sdk from model context protocol so this async with streamable http client has this read stream uh, write stream and get session id methods so here we are uh, doing async io create task and calling this send requests with the write stream and in this send request we are calling the write stream with our json payload and here write stream dot send is the method we are calling A read stream will get the data back in this loop so let's run it so this is in doc compose c2 let's run c2 these are my experiments but the entire code is there in this video itself okay see it is working no we have a notify tool and add tool add tool 13 plus 30 is 45 which is two more okay and this is the notification response so both are working we are able to call the uh, add tool we are able to call the notify to tool using mcp sdk streamable transport so these are the two demonstrations i want to show it in this video okay so uh, if you have any questions please come via the comment section Please remember to like, share and subscribe. See you in the next video where we will see the authorization. Bye-bye.